hey guys back here from a pad here today is an exciting day for me guys you see what's behind me that is my rosemary you guys know i have a lot of rosemary in the garden i have a ton of oregano in the garden and today we are going to be making some oregano oil and rosemary oil guys i've been doing some research and on rosemary oil and you're going to be shocked the health benefits of rosemary oil and it's not what you're thinking <laughs> i'm going to tell you more about the benefits of rosemary oil and not to mention oregano oil you guys know i have spoken in my in my past videos about when i get sick for years i've been using oregano oil but guys i've been buying the oregano oil at the organic store when i have a whole garden full of oregano here so th this year i want to go get more into making my own um essential oils and you know just extracting oil and using more of my medicinals in the garden my garden is chock full of medicinals and you know why do we pump ourselves with antibiotics and pump ourselves with all these drugs when we have our own little drugstore right here in our garden so guys today where it's all about the rosemary oil and it's all about oregano oil but there's a whole lot more to come i'm going to be doing an upcoming video also on making extracts making um tinctures tinctures with my vervain or my blue porter weed and guys look at it it is i am five foot six and some of these pieces are almost taller than me so we're gonna be doing some videos coming up on on the vervain um benefits and probably make a tincture with vervain and some um some of that the butterfly peas because they have very similar properties anyway guys Let's get started. Let's get started on our oregano oil and our rosemary oil. So let's get started. so here we are guys and look at my oregano it is just chock full it is like overflowing and this had died back a little bit after the passion fruit had gotten overgrown because it was being shaded out but it came right back and guys all this started off with a little oregano plant that i bought from the store last year when i first moved in or early i guess a, a year and a half ago but it has just come back each and every time and i've never had to buy oregano again and we're going to be chopping back our um rosemary also guys so i learned something new about rosemary oil and i know i've heard about it but i did i just read about this in cleveland clinic um and of course for anything that i'm telling you guys i'm not a doctor you gotta check with your doctor first but rosemary oil, rose, both rosemary and oregano are antimicrobial, antifungal, antibacterial. Plus there are just so many health, other health benefits to this. As a matter of fact, oregano is, is now being, um, they're even thinking about it with some like cancer treatments and stuff. Of course, if you have cancer, guys, don't just go out and stop your medication and, and start using these things. But the way I see it, guys, if you can use these natural herbs health in a healthy way before you get sick as a prevention you know go for it absolutely that's what i do so let me tell you about um the rosemary oil and let me tell you the new thing i found out about rosemary oil which shocked me which shook me it shook me and that's why i'm outside right now so rosemary oil, what I read, and I'm going to put the article up below because I, I think it was Cleveland Clinic that I read it on. Rosemary oil has the same properties or similar properties to the drug called minoxidil, which is the drug that they take to make um, Rogaine, which of course, you know, Rogaine is a very expensive um, hair product that men use to cure or reverse male um, baldness. I had no idea about that. If you guys knew, drop a comment below to let me know if you, you had already knew, known about this rosemary oil. So we're going to be harvesting rosemary to make some rosemary oil. We're going to be harvesting our oregano. I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up. 
Um, one thing I want to point out, when you're harvesting any herbs, the best time to harvest the herbs is first thing in the morning. That's when the oils and, you know, the beneficial oils are strongest or highest. The level is highest in the leaves. So also, if you harvest your herbs right when they're about to bud, but before the buds open, that's when it, you actually have the very, very highest value. So yesterday, I noticed that my oregano was just beginning to bud, guys. Look, some, some of the pieces are just beginning to bud. So now I know it has the highest content. The flowers haven't actually opened up yet. So this is actually perfect. It's early in the morning and my oregano is just about to bud. So I know that the, the carvacol, which is like the, the um, property in oregano that makes it so powerful, that is highest. The oils in the leaves are highest. So I'm gonna set the camera up and I'll go ahead and harvest. And what I'll do is there's so many other benefits that I know I don't remember off, off the top of my head. I'm going to probably write some benefits on the screen as you guys watch me harvest. So setting this camera up here, set my phone up and guys, I can tell you, this is a little scary corner for me. Look at this. It's like full of weeds. And the other day, Stormy, my dog Storm was in here. Um, you know, digging around, she's always looking for, um, for lizards and a snake popped up and actually hissed at her and that was really, really scary. It sounded almost like a little rattle sound. I'm praying it's not a rattlesnake. Um, I have my little chopper here just in case, but this, this area needs to be cleaned out anyway. So I'm going to cut all the way back here and cut this back tremendously. I mean, cut, cut this back significantly so it's not as matted. So before I start chopping, I'm just going to poke around a bit, poke around a bit. Ooh, scary, scary. Ah, it's a little scary. I'm just going to poke around a bit, make sure I don't see any snakes, anything jumping up at me. And then after I cut this back, I'm just going to pull out all these weeds. <clears throat> all right, so that looks good. All right, so now I'm going to start chopping and I'm using a big chopper for this. Wow, with just one chop, guys, that is a lot of oregano. This is a lot of oregano. Ooh. All right, guys, you can see I just cleaned up a lot of um, stuff back here. And now I can actually see. Now I can actually see. There was a ton of weeds back here. All right. So I'm going to continue chopping. Ideally, I would like to cut the top off, the tops off before it um, blossoms. You can see all the blossoms coming out here, but I really think it's important that I can see what's going on in my garden and I can see if there are any snakes. So for now, I'm focusing on the edges. Let me show you what I've cut so far. It's over here. So I have quite a bit here and I have some broadleaf thyme that I'm also gonna root. All right. All right, I'm gonna switch to my smaller clipper now. I wanna cut off anything that's beginning to blossom because I'm not ready for it to blossom and go to seed. I wanna continue getting lots of oregano. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, it's at its peak when it's just about, when the blossoms are just about to open up and first thing in the morning. And one thing I didn't mention is it's also, if you're going to harvest in the morning, harvest after the, the dew is dry. Okay, so don't harvest when the leaves are wet. Harvest it late enough in the morning before it gets hot, but when the dew is dried off the leaves. I finished cutting the, the oregano I'm gonna use for now. So let's get started on the um, rosemary. 
I won't need as much rosemary so that's gonna go through and cut enough rosemary to fill up one jar to use for the rosemary oil I'm just cutting maybe the top top six inches or so of the different stalks. Hmm, guys, this smells amazing, amazing, amazing. Hmm, hmm. Smells so good. Smells so good. This should be enough for the jar. I'm gonna remove, I think I'm gonna remove the stems. But this should be enough. If not, I can just come and get wrap some more. So let's get started. Let me show you what needs to happen to make our oils. Our healthy oils. Get ready to get stronger immunity. To get healthier, stronger here. I've already put the oregano in the house. So let's let's get in the house with the rosemary now. Then I have to come back and set these in some water so I can root those Cuban oreganos so it's ready for you guys. All right. All right, so we're inside. Let's look and see what we need. So I'm going to be using these um, mason jars that I got from Walmart. Um, these are three cups and you can see it's marked off there one two three cups which is equivalent to 24 ounces so these are pretty big mason jars um, I have a ton especially of my oregano so I'm probably gonna need at least two mason jars to do the oregano um, also you want to use extra virgin olive oil here I am using Bertoli it doesn't matter what brand just make sure you have a good quality extra virgin olive oil this is gonna be the base of the oregano oil then of course this is my um my rosemary i I've, i just washed it and i'm just laying it out to dry you want to make sure all the moisture is is completely gone before you put it in the oil because what would happen is you know it will it can form mold on top if if it's not completely dry before you um you make your oregano oil and your rosemary oil you can also use dried herbs if you don't have fresh herbs i have tons of fresh herbs so I'm, I'm using the fresh herbs i'm just gonna make sure that it's completely dry and maybe a little bit wilted before i put it in all right so i'm gonna do the same thing for the oregano what i'm gonna do is just wash it well i've already gone through picked off any any um like anything that's like a weed that is in the oregano i'm gonna go through now strip off all the leaves I'm going to actually wash it first, get rid of as much water as possible, then I'm going to strip the leaves and then we're going to be ready to start packing it into the jar and to make our oregano and our, our rosemary oils. All right, guys, so let me go wash it and I'll be back after it's dried. All right, so it's been several hours um, more since we washed them and I dried everything and... The herbs are dry now. There's no water left at all on the herbs. So let's check on the, the oregano. The oregano is dry. I started taking off some leaves and there is no water at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling up. Let's first start with the, um, with the rosemary. So I'm gonna be taking off the leaves Hold the leaves, oops, hold the leaves and pull down. I could use a host, all the stems and everything, but um, I want to make it as potent, as potent as possible. So the most potent um, part is going to be the leaves and most of the medicine is going to be in the leaves so that's what I'm using the leaves 
are two little stems fall in there, it's okay. As you can see, I have a ton of leaves. I have a ton of leaves, so it's all good. All right, here's what we have. We guys, I tell you, the rosemary smells fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. It smells so wonderful, guys. It's beautiful rosemary and um, oregano. So as you guys can see, I have it almost filled up to the rim. Um, this is fresh product. If it was dried product, you could probably get away with half, but I'm using fresh product. So I'm gonna fill it up, and then now we're gonna make sure that we cover it up with the olive oil, but make sure that the olive oil covers um, the product, covers the, the herbs. So let's do that. So we're gonna pour in the extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna make sure we cover the product completely. I hope this bottle is gonna be enough. Let's see. Oh boy, this takes a lot. Yes, yeah, so make sure it's all covered. And what you're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in a dark place, probably in my in my pantry, or maybe in a cupboard that I don't really use. Gonna make sure the oil is covered completely. Ooh. And what I can do is every couple of days, this is gonna go down. All those green leaves that are see at the top, those are gonna sink to the bottom in no time. And what I'm gonna do is just come and give it a shake every couple of days. And I'm gonna let this sit in the closet for out to four weeks. Some people do it four weeks, some people do six weeks. I'm gonna check it in four weeks and see how it is. But by that time, all the essential oils from the leaves would have been drawn into the olive oil. So we're gonna be left with just pure, rosemary oil and oregano oil all right so let's go ahead and cover this up and we will check back in four weeks and i'll let you see what it looks like in four weeks so i'm gonna cover these two up some people um put it on in like a sunny on a sunny window um i think the majority of the herb herbalists that i watch they keep it in a dark area or they put it in a dark bottle, but I don't have a dark bottle, so I'm gonna put it in a dark area, in a cool dark area in my pantry and check on it every couple weeks. So guys, um, oh, and here's what I have left of the oregano. Um, this I'm gonna leave out and for it to completely dry, I'm gonna take the rest of the leaves of the, of the stems. Once it's dry, then I'm gonna blend it up so I can have my oregano my dried oregano my homegrown dried oregano and here's what we have left of the rosemary we used all the rosemary so i picked just enough to fill up this ba uh, batch and be sure that you label and date it so i'm gonna just top this up a little bit this 50 ounce bottle is really just enough um, these jars are, as I said, are 24 ounces. So the two jars are like 48 ounces. So literally, this 50 ounce bottle is enough just for the two of them. Now my herbs are completely covered, so I don't have to worry about any mold forming on top. And then now we're just gonna cover it up. And then I'm gonna label and date this. Gonna put oregano oil with extra virgin olive oil so I know exactly what's in here and I'm gonna label this one rosemary oil rosemary with extra virgin olive oil I'm gonna put today's date and that way I know ex as a matter of fact I'm gonna put today's date and the date that I'm gonna go back I'm gonna put the date I'm going back actually in my cell phone so I know to check it and what I'll do is put a little reminder every week to go in and shake it up um, but since it's now covered completely with oil, I'm not going to have to worry too much about any fungus forming on top. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this. I'm really looking forward to growing 
um, to use in more of my medicinals that I have in my garden so we can have make our own medicinal herbal remedies um, lots to come up lots coming up I'm gonna be doing um, tinctures with Cersei and I have um, Spanish needle or Alba Biden's I have tons of tons more stuff that I'm gonna be doing guys so keep on watching hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it consider sharing this with your friends so they also can learn um, be sure to check back um, in a few weeks when I check on these things and we bottle it up and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it next alright guys till next time bye now